You ever go to a party or a social gathering and there's that attention seeking guy? He's got an iguana on his shoulder. Yeah, Bob can't keep a job, but he's exotic pet guy. He can afford a $9,000 boa constrictor at home. Look at me. I've got an iguana. Girls do that at parties, too. Marissa runs out of the party crying. Does she go home? No, she makes sure she's on the balcony by the window so everybody can see Marissa crying. She had a bad day. Doesn't leave the party, of course. Wants to be consoled by all her friends. And so she stands so you can see her inside the house, outside on the balcony. There's Marissa. And there's Marissa next to the iguana guy and the exotic pet guy. Look at me. Odell Beckham is a look at me guy. Now, he's a remarkable talent. I'd love to have him on my football team, and I'd pay him a bunch of money. But on a totally legal hit last night, flip the helmet off. Look at me. Throw the ball at the defensive back. Look at me. Then he jogs off the field on his own, gets into the tunnel, knows there's a photographer, and kneels down. By the way, that's a totally legal hit. Surprised he doesn't have an iguana on his shoulder or didn't leave the field crying and stand by the window. I mean, come on, Odell. Can you imagine Calvin Johnson, Heinz Ward, Larry Fitzgerald, Julio Jones? It's a totally legal hit. I'm not saying it didn't hurt, but you jogged off the field on your own. Towel over the head. Colin, you're being, I'm being what? Honest? One-handed catches. Dancing behind the sideline reporter. Proposing to a kicking net. And then when the media after the game, watching his dramatics, questioned the hit to see how good he was, he kind of sarcastically laughed it off. Here it is. I rolled ankle, I don't know. Feels like, you know, when you hurt your ankle, it's kind of what it feels like, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right? You, how do you know it'll be all right? Is that what they told you? No. Is that what they told you? That's what I know. That's what I know. Will you be ready for Dallas? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm I'm pretty concerned, but I think I'll be all right. Is that sarcastic? It definitely was a little bit of there. Okay, dude, we watched you. You made it look like something between an asteroid hitting Earth and out for the season. So that's why media people would come up and say, dude, you okay? I mean, come on now. Lynn Swan, Calvin Johnson doing that. I mean, he's a good player. I've said this before. The downside to pro sports is that the players are mostly really good in their 20s, but most people, myself included, aren't really ready to lead a franchise in their 20s. This is why the first time I met Russell Wilson, I said, Give him the keys to the franchise. He's a 23-year-old, 40-year-old. And why I never bought into Johnny Manziel, who was 23 going on 13. This is why Odell Beckham deserves money, is fun to watch, is a great player, is amazing, has a cool shoe deal. I would love to have him as a guest on the show, but this is why I'm not building my franchise around him. I mean, come on, dude. You're the one that acted like career was over. Reporters just ask you a question. Are you okay? And you went sarcasm. And you went, of course I'm okay. May want to take occasionally that iguana off your shoulder.